All right, let's have a little breakfast for dinner. This is what I got. I'm sorry it doesn't look amazing, guys, but there you have it. All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the Triple T channel. It is me, your boy Triple T. I'm back, 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 back again. And um, I got a little bit of a breakfast here. I'm trying a little bit of a different setup without the board and and everything here. So hopefully my table is good enough for some of you. Now, I haven't felt like doing mukbangs a lot because I don't really have much here to cook. But I made a little bit of rice. I had a can of Spam. I had some leftover pork. And uh, I made an omelet. Now my omelet got a little hacked up when I tried to tried to turn it. Now this omelet has just onions because that's all I have. Now I do have some canned salmon. which I'm gonna use in an, om uh, an omelet the next time. And like I said, I wasn't planning at all to do a mukbang. I just thought, the hell with it, let's do one. Because I haven't really been putting anything out. Um, like I said, I just haven't really been inspired. Um, I know once I do get some money, I am gonna be doing a McDonald's. A McDonald's mukbang. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So I did make up a little bit of rice here. Now, why I made rice, I don't know. But I just figured. I haven't been eating a whole lot. I've just mostly been eating soups the past days. So, um, I thought maybe this would be a good way to... Mm. Some beans, yummy. Actually, let's put some beans on my rice. Mm. Now, I have not been feeling too well. I've been having quite some headaches the past days. And I think, well, I know this sounds crazy, but I think it is from not drinking coffee. I haven't had any money, so I haven't really been, you know, I haven't had money for coffee. Today I went, I had a, enough points for a free one. And the moment after I drank that coffee, I've been feeling better. I've been feeling much, much better. Now, what's crazy to me is that that can make me feel that way. That felt, honestly, guys, that felt worse than, um, than quitting alcohol and quitting weed. So, oh, I tell you, it's like the addictions, y'all. Um, I couldn't get over in my life how dark, because I've been trying to sleep. I've been oversleeping, if anything. And it's just like, I think it's going to take my body a long time, guys, until I get to the point of uh, till I get to the point where my body is like, okay. Now I'm not giving up coffee. I just, like I said, I just haven't had any money to buy any coffee. Um, that's good, I like the beans on it. Now I haven't had like I said, I've been eating a lot of soups. 
So this kind of feels nice to have somewhat of a hearty meal here. Get some protein into me. I could definitely feel that I've lost weight. This shirt, for example, didn't fit me. I could get it on, but I definitely feel like my belly has gone down. One of my jackets that I put on, I noticed that that as well has, uh, is fitting me better. So I'm really excited about that, guys, because now I haven't been able to exercise. I was doing pretty good with walking every day, but then I hit a wall. So the last day I walked was Saturday. Today's Wednesday. Uh, so I did get out for a small walk today when I went for my coffee, but I didn't have the energy. My head was just throbbing so much. And uh, yeah. So I'm glad that I'm feeling a little better. So hopefully tomorrow I can maybe push myself to get out and, uh, and get a little exercise in because I think it's been a combination of a lot of stuff for me guys, stress. There's a lot on my mind. Um, and so I think it's all contributing factors, you know, coffee, the detoxing from everything. So I've been two weeks, guys. Two weeks uh, without marijuana. And I've been six weeks without alcohol. So... I am proud of that. And guys, if anyone has any problems with stuff, I'm always here to listen. Um, or if you come on my lives, or if you ever want to share anything, um, I'm all ears. Um, because, you know, I have felt so many times when I've gone through stuff, There's not a lot of people that listen, right? Or even care. So, I'm just going to focus on myself. And, you know, what I need is positive people in my life. Because negativity is not going to get us anywhere, right? Absolutely nowhere. I'm already getting full, guys. Another thing I want to talk about is I'm getting absolutely so pissed. For years, there has been mice in this building. I've set up traps, and I cannot catch them. It's freaking annoying. And the past few nights, I've this fucking thing. Pardon my French, guys. Sorry, pardon my French. And I got upset earlier, and I started banging. Now, it's only was 4 o'clock when that happened, and uh, I just went to town with the broom. We went behind my fridge, and I'm like, I could hear somebody banging next door. I'm like, chill out. I'm just having a moment, because I pay a fortune to live with mice. I've told the landlord for years and there's no solution or anything ever done. When I told him my toilet seat is broken, he said to me that he's not responsible. Okay, you're not responsible. Okay. So, I guess you're not responsible either, right? I'm just like, super annoying. Deal with it. Get pest control. I've done a lot of cleaning, but they still come. There's nothing on my floor for them to get. I've had one trap over here set for like 
two months. I've moved it. I just want the damn things to land on it. So I don't know. I may have to look for alternative traps because he isn't doing anything. I guess you can get those ones that they, um, they're a little bit expensive, but they're like a no touch and they're really easy to set up, I guess. So I guess it goes into it and then it closes itself in. Excuse me, guys. So I might have to look into getting some of those. Um, I do have the, you know, the classic ones, but nothing. I put peanut butter, I put cake crumbs, I put, and nothing. But I'm just like, get out of here. Like, I do not want you in here. Like, go away. It's so annoying. And every time I see one, it scares the shit out of me. Like, go away. And now it's getting earlier and earlier. Like, today, 4 o'clock. Usually they would come out when it's, like, um, late. Right? The lights are dim. But now they're just coming out when the lights are on and everything. I'm just like... Ugh. So anyways, I'm frustrated with that. Whew. And y'all, I just want to thank a lot of you um, for your continued support. A lot of you that reach out and a lot of you have really shown that you care. And... Um, that means the world to me. It really does mean the world to me because, you know, and, and like I said, I'm not going to allow on here for people to come on and try to bring me down, especially when I'm so hard working on myself. And, you know, recently I want to say thank you to Robin, who actually has congratulated me and told me that she's proud. Um, you know, because addictions, guys, it's a real thing. It's no joke. And sometimes you just need to hear those words. You need to hear those words of encouragement, the words of, um, you know, and, and, and what you need is people that actually care, right? Because actions guys always speak louder than any words right we can blah 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 but it's the actions at the end of the day that um that that speak volumes so there's a lot of you out there cooking with mods um thank you for your support cricket has been a really uh good supporter um, Dekula from New Zealand, thank you very much. Um, Elaine is another one that cares a lot. Um, Phil M. Queen from Texas. And guys, if I didn't mention your name, please do not take any offense. Because I know there's many, many more of you. I just, uh... I just can't think right now at the top of my head. Oh, I think I need some water, y'all. I don't know, though. This spam is leaving like a weird taste in my mouth. Ugh. Icky, icky, icky. All right, I don't even have much water in here, but okay. Ooh. And I'm sorry, this shirt makes my tits look gross. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, I am feeling pretty full. Whew. And I don't know, lately, I'm having, like, when I eat stuff, I don't know, I'm having weird 
taste in my mouth. I don't know what's what's going on with that. But I am full. Even that got a weird taste to it to me. I don't know, y'all. Why does it taste? It kind of tastes gross. All right, y'all. I am full. But thank you for joining me. Um, I appreciate you all. Please leave me a comment. Subscribe. And, you know, if these videos don't do well, they don't do well, right? And I need to always remind myself that I can't be worried about what other people are doing. I need to focus on what I'm doing. And um, like I said, the little community here that I've created um, with all of you, I love you guys so much. And um, I couldn't imagine getting through things without y'all. Oh, <laughs> scare the shit out of me. All right, guys. Oh, so sorry, guys. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. I'm full, and this I have a weird taste in my mouth. Um, thank you for joining me on another Triple T Mukbang. And uh, we'll catch you guys real soon. Blessings, guys. Blessings. And remember to treat each other well. Treat each other with kindness. Treat each other with love and respect that we all deserve. Mwah.